All eyes will be on the Elm City this morning as Vice President Kamala Harris travels here to our state. Yeah, a lot of people in New Haven are buzzing with excitement. And this morning, we do know at least a tentative schedule of where the Vice President will be stopping and when. Also, who is scheduled to accompany her. Fox 61's Keith McGilvery is live outside of New Haven City Hall with all those details. Tim and Erica, we have moved. That is because overnight we learned that the vice president would be making her way here to the city's Boys and Girls Club, the club serving more than 200 families across this community, a club and community that is eager and excited to welcome the vice president to New Haven at 2.30 this afternoon. Um, I think that's pretty exciting. I don't think that many people um, from the federal level really come to New Haven often. The visit to Connecticut is a first for the vice president since taking office. It comes just a few weeks after First Lady Jill Biden came to Meriden to celebrate new education commissioner Miguel Cardona in his hometown. I think the city, the city can benefit a great deal. And I think there is awareness here that there are people who need this support badly. The stop is part of the administration's Help Is Here tour, and New Haven Mayor Justin Elliker is pretty excited. It's a big deal for us, obviously. Um, New Haven's a great city, and so I'm glad the vice president recognizes that. But in addition, I think it sets a real statement about the importance of cities like New Haven and the stimulus package. The appearance from the VP is designed to highlight the president's newly passed nearly $2 trillion American Rescue Plan. Harris is expected to be joined by Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro to highlight the legislation that includes a child tax credit. It's going to cut child poverty in half with, with and you know, I've talked to so many of you. Rosa, you and I have spent so much time on this. We are a struggling community in many different ways, and COVID has made that much more challenging for us, exacerbated a lot of the issues that our residents are facing, particularly around income inequality. And the fact that the vice president is coming here in one of the many locations that she's going to, to celebrate the fact that the federal government is able to provide communities like ours the support we need is just huge. The federal help is also top of mind in Hartford with Mayor Luke Bronin. Then there is the $92 million, the congressman referenced, that is coming directly to the city of Hartford. Uh, and that money uh, can be spent between now and the end of 2024. So that's three and a half years uh, it, that we have to use these resources to help our city recover from this pandemic. Cities will be able to decide how the money is spent with federal guidelines that are still in the works. We may, uh, we may add to this list, we may remove from this list, uh, but what I want everybody who's watching tonight to know is we want your feedback on this. Also expected to join the vice president as she visits the Boys and Girls Club today, both Connecticut senators and our new education secretary, Miguel Cardona. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, Miguel Cardona, of course, welcomed the first lady of the United States to Meriden just a couple of weeks ago. So a lot of high profile visits and attention for the state of Connecticut. Again, the vice president anticipated here at the Boys and Girls Club around 2.30 this afternoon. And they will also be making a stop at a child development center as well. Fox 61 covering this for you throughout the day as all of these events unfold. But for now, live in the Elm City this morning, I'm Keith McGilvery, Fox 61 News.